it's a very scary thing to do what we do and, you know, pretend to be perfect and, and do doing ballet. It's, it's supposed to be this perfect thing. You get ready to go on stage and you kind of have this moment where you're like, oh my gosh, what am I doing? Like, I'm about to give my heart and my soul to this audience and what are they gonna think? Are they gonna like me? You kind of learn to use fear as a tool for your own good. Before a show, I feel like it, fear becomes adrenaline and wanting to do your best. And I feel like in class or in a rehearsal, fear becomes wanting to defeat maybe this hump that you're trying to get over. Sometimes I, I have to really talk myself up. There's a lot of fear in getting injured. There's fear in accomplishing that step in that moment on stage. You know, you've rehearsed it so much. Can I do it in that one second that I need to? I felt pressure when I got promoted to principal just because it's such a huge step and you have so many years ahead of you and you want to do so many ballets and you want the director to choose you for those ballets. But then you kind of get in a groove and then you kind of know what your path is going to be. I think for me the hardest part is not freaking out when I'm in pain that I'll, I might be able to walk tomorrow, you know. So there's pain every day. <laughs> I think if there wasn't pain, we wouldn't know what to do. Like, if I, if I didn't feel that, I wouldn't have felt like I had pushed my body enough the day before. At the end of the day is kind of this crazy culmination of, of the excitement and of the pressure all at once for the show and everything in this art form, I feel like it's a balance. And without having the pressure, I don't know that there would be excitement because so much of what we do is about sharing. I think because it's such a high stakes kind of situation, I know I will look back feeling like I lived my life to the fullest. I don't want to not try because I'm afraid.